Assalamu alaikum and hello. Thank you for tuning in on our fourth episode of Burosa Reminders. My name is Arif Ibrahim and today I'll be talking about overcoming self-doubt. Our goal here today is for you to go away with a better understanding of what self-doubt is and a fresh new perspective that you can apply to be more confident in your own abilities and put yourself in the right mindset to keep moving forward. But before we talk about the ways and techniques to overcome self-doubt, first we must understand what it truly is. What is self-doubt? Have you ever experienced a time when you were worried if you failed an exam or an assignment? Or let's say someone has put their faith in you to do something and you are scared to disappoint them. These are just a few of the examples of self-doubt. These whispers lead us to self-doubt either in our own capabilities or self-worth or both. You see, self-doubt comes from a place of underlying fear or insecurity. By definition, self-doubt is a lack of confidence or feeling incompetent in doing the things we need to do. What I'm here to tell you is that we are all susceptible to self-doubt for, or imposter syndrome. Just for worldly comparison, there was a study conducted in the UK workforce about self-doubt and in summary, 85% of adults have expressed that they have felt incompetent at their work. And if you are a medical student, that percentage increases to the high 90s. You see, even the greatest mountains can crumble under their own weight. Even the Prophet's companions, Abu Bakr radiallahu an and Hanzalah radiallahu an, had questioned themselves if they were being true Muslims or hypocrites when they only had undivided attention to matters pertaining to the hereafter in the presence of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hanzalah radiallahu an said, O Messenger of Allah, when we are in your company and are reminded of hellfire and jannah, we feel as if we are seeing them with our own eyes. But when we go away from you and attend to our wives, children, and business, much of these things go out of our minds. Rasulullah wasallam replied, By him in whose hands is my life. If your state of mind remains the same as it is in my presence, and you are always busy in remembrance of Allah, the angels will shake hands with you in your beds and in your roads. But Hanzalah, time should be given to the worldly affairs and time should be devoted to prayer. Narrated by Imam Muslim. It is a good sign to have these questions as it reflects our state of taqwa and earnest efforts to strengthen our Iman. This feeling is natural given that as human beings, our faith fluctuates. Hanzalah questioned his faith in fear of being a hypocrite when, in truth, he is amongst, he is amongst the companions of the Prophet wasallam, whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has witnessed their re resilient faith and given pleasure to. No one fears hypocrisy but a believer and no one feels safe from it but a hypocrite. Narrated by Imam Hassan al-Basri. Furthermore, we should not forget our commitments to daily activities, work, time spent with family. Now that we have established what self-doubt is, and that almost everyone has and will experience it in their lifetime, I will tell you the first step to overcoming self-doubt. You see, the first step to overcoming self-doubt starts by changing your mindset. Most importantly, how you talk to yourself. We are a product of our surroundings and we absorb everything around us, the good and the bad. The stories we tell ourselves is essential to putting us in the right mindset to start the day and every other day. Here's a surah, a surah ar arad ayat sablas. Indeed, Allah would never change a pe people's state of favor until they change their own state of faith. For example, if you tell yourself every single day, every day, that you're stupid or you're not good at something, whether that is unintentional or not, after a while, 
you will start to believe in it. In literature, they call this psychological phenomenon as a self-fulfilling prophecy, or the Pygmalion effect. When we believe the whispers of our self-doubt, we end up in this visual, vicious cycle of dissatisfaction with ourselves and beat ourselves up for it. To stop this vicious cycle of self-doubt, we must stop using harmful words and start replacing them with words that inspire positive growth. Mistakes happen. Yes, they do. But we must learn from it and keep moving forward. It is best to put your trust and faith in Allah in times of hardship and be kind to yourself. The second step to overcoming self-doubt is to embrace the challenges and obstacles ahead of you. Here is a dua for hardship. Allahumma la sahla illa ma ja'atahu sahla wa anta taj'alu husna iza shi'ba sahla. Oh Allah, there is no ease except in that which you have made easy and you make the difficult you make the difficulty if you wish easy. Narrated by Imam Ibn Hibban. The truth is, things do not get easier over time. You just get more better at doing them. Your challenges are unique to you. Only you know the amount of effort and sacrifices you put to improve your situation. The journey you will embark on is not only good for you, but it will bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I just love putting this here. Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayat 286 Allah does not burden a soul beyond that it can bear. And the last step is to put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At this point, all we must do is try and be the best and put, um, and put our trust in Allah. Here are some good deeds we can do to bring us closer to Allah. Um, first one, seeking forgiveness, istighfar, astaghfirullah. Uh, two, reading the Quran for better understanding. Three, praying five times a day. And four, zikir. No one can overcome self-doubt overnight. It is a process that takes time, effort, retrospection, and self-love. When your desire to change comes from within, honor that feeling with self-respect. Do not sabotage yourself by giving yourself too much time in a short amount of time. In summary, self-doubt is a lack of confidence or feeling incompetent in the things we do. And everyone experiences self-doubt. The steps to overcome self-doubt is to start with changing your mindset. Changing your mindset little by little every day to inspire positive growth. Embracing the challenges ahead of you to keep moving forward and to put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are on a unique journey. I believe that you can do well and will do well. These are just a few of the things you can do, but there are so many other things that can help you along your journey. That is it from me today. I would like to close off with Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for tuning in. Right.